What's up, my makeup lovers? I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee Today. And today, I had to search for our Foundation Friday victim today. The Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. I really, 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 really wanted this foundation because I love all those words like Super Stay, 24 Hour, Full Coverage, and it claims to be matte all things I look for in a foundation. So I was willing to even buy this online because it was not sold in stores when it first got launched, at least nowhere near me. So I had to go to the Maybelline website and I got the color 330 Toffee Caramel. This was $11.99 on the website plus shipping. So I didn't really like that part. And then when I got it, it was too dark for me. I picked the wrong color. But then luckily yesterday out of nowhere, I went to Walgreens and I found it in stores. This wasn't even in like the Maybelline section. I had to go to some random aisle and it was like on the end and it had its own little section. Why? I don't know if that's gonna be the case for all stores, but if you do go to a Walgreens, don't just give up if you don't see it in the makeup section. It could just be next to the toothpaste for no reason. I'm writing a letter. <clears throat> Dear Mr. Walgreens, I am a white woman in America. Name that movie. So now that I've found it in stores, weirdly enough, this was their darkest shade. And thank God it worked for me. This is the number 312 Golden Doré. It could be door, but it's spelled D-O-R-E, so I don't really get it. But this is what I have on right now, and I do think it looks pretty fabulous. But without further ado, let me show you exactly how I applied this foundation to my skin. So I'm gonna be using the Stay Matte by Rimmel Primer. This is one of my favorite drugstore primers. To help mattify the skin. I don't have a Maybelline primer to use, but I really like this one and it's like five dollars. Now I'm gonna grab number 312, which is Golden Door, Dore, D-O-R-E, you know, however you wanna pronounce it. So I'm twisting and I realize it's a pull-off top, so don't be like me. All right, it has a pump. You guys know I like a pump. And let's see how this does. Oh, it's pretty creamy. Pretty creamy consistency. Should get some good coverage. Here we go, I'm gonna do it right on these little blemishes so we can see how much coverage we get. Nice. This shade is actually two shades lighter than the first one I bought. And it still is a little bit orange, but it's much better than the first one. Yeah, this is a good color for me. Wow, I really like this coverage. But as you can see, it is a little bit more orangey than my skin tone. So I'm definitely getting a yellow undertone for this one. Golden undertone, I should say. But I really like this coverage. Look at that. And a tiny bit more over the blemishes and the dark spots. Nice. That is very impressive. Doing a very good job. Very good indeed. And time. There's my completed application of the foundation. It is currently 12 10 p.m. And right off the bat, I could say that I love the coverage. It gives me a really nice, even, flawless finish. I think it's blurring my pores, and it's definitely going on very matte right now. So this is claiming to last. 24 hours, and I think this is a pretty good start. There's no shine at all. But although it is a little bit yellow right now, I'm gonna add the rest of my makeup and hopefully it looks a little bit more even. So let me go ahead and do that right now. And we're back. So now that I have my full face on, I'm really happy with this. It's been a, a, you know, a minute or two since I've actually been impressed with the foundation, you know, right off the bat but I love how it went on. It was very easy to blend, very full coverage. I think that the color looks good on me now that I've you know, put everything else together. So I'm not really too mad about the yellowish undertone anymore. 
And fortunately, when I did find this in stores, it was actually cheaper than buying it online. It was only $8.99. It might have even been on sale, so I'm very happy with that. And I hope they arrive in more stores. There are a total of 16 super saturated shades available, seven of them being darker than my skin tone. Once again, it is currently 12.30 p.m. I'm going to wear this foundation for as long as possible. Don't think I'm gonna wear it for 24 hours, but you know, a very long time. And then I'll show you how well this foundation really held up on my oily skin. And I'm back. It is now 11.30 p.m. Whew, so I've had on this foundation for a good 12 hours, and this is how I look. So, I am shiny. Uh, I was really hoping that this foundation would do a little bit better, but I'm shiny in my regular shiny areas, both sides of my nose, my forehead, and my chin. My cheeks aren't that bad. It's just really right here, like in the T-zone. But I would say this is kind of comparable and just as good as the Infallible. Now the L'Oreal Infallible foundation is always like a oily skin girl favorite. And I would say that this one does just as well as that one, but does not really keep you extremely matte all day long. But at this point, I'm going to grab my oil absorbing sheets. These are by Walgreens. And let's see how much oil comes up. So I'm gonna dab it on there. Hmm. A good sign is there's mainly oil on here and not too much foundation. So it says it's transfer proof. I mean, there's a little bit of foundation, but not too much. But I am getting a pretty good amount of oil. Oh, yikes. All right, so here are my oil results. That is a really good amount of oil. Not too much foundation came off, so that's a good sign. But now I am matte once again. So now that I have blotted, I do think my skin looks really good. I'm back to my normal matte self. And I would say that this foundation did really well even up to like six, seven hours. I just wouldn't wear it for a full 12 or 24. But if I can remove my oil and blot midday and look like this, I'll be satisfied. So overall, although I did get shiny, I'm still very, very impressed with this Super Stay 24 Hour Foundation. But I am extremely oily, so just always consider me as like worst case scenario. This is how shiny you'll get. But after I blotted, my skin looks really good and my foundation really did last. If you have tried this foundation, please let me know your thoughts on the Super Stay 24 Hour Foundation. Do you like it? Do you love it? Do you have oily skin? Do you have dry skin? Please let us all know in the comments below. And before you go, make sure you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at Ms. Bianca Renee. I always give you guys the exclusives on my Snapchat or Instagram story, and I show you what foundation I'll be reviewing next. I post two new videos every week, Foundation Fridays every Friday, and curly hair product reviews on Sunday. So come back next week for more videos. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.